Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm bringing you guys another DB rated match and I'm playing the branded synchro list. Uh, this one's actually a little bit different, bro. This one is no assault synchron and just a few other like changes in the non-engine and stuff and in the extra deck as well. More focused on like high spirits. You see I play multiple high spirits. I play branded and white as well. Um, but I'm playing this deck basically and going up against Virtual World. So he has Nian Yan, Water Enchantress, GG, uh, Kowloon, Quinglong, uh, The Searcher. So I know what Virtual World does. I played Virtual World back when it was pretty good. And I have High Spirits, Magma, Branded, and White Chaos Space, Branded, and High Spirits again. So not the best hand. And I do end up losing the Rock, Paper, Scissors, which is probably okay because I wouldn't have really done anything too much with this hand. I probably would have tried to play a little bit. But actually, yeah, you definitely have to try to play with that. Um, actually, I could have went crazy, bro. I actually had a combo. You go Chaos Space, Discard Magma, Search for the Light Dragon, Light Dragon, Banish, Make Striker, um, Search for Black, Black, Banish, White, and then Chaos Space, Put White Back, Draw, Link those two in the Seal, and then you get Black Dragon, Search Back, White, and then go High Spirits, High Spirits, Search for um guiding quem and then guiding quem normal summon send albaz branded and white make mirror jade yend on quem mirror jade and seal actually did have plays i'm not gonna lie um so he starts off with right though like i said i lost the rock paper scissors there's actually plays i could have done um he drew no hand traps so i would have been able to resolve all of that and i probably would have won but he goes normal summon yen yen effect to search for draco back Draco back effect or fateful effect now to search for Griffin. And then he's going to discard the Quinglong there. Quinglong effect to search and discard. So he's going to add Lulu. Of course, Lulu's the best one. And then discard the Draco back. Draco back effect to equip. And that is fine. So equip. And then Griffin Rider summon itself out to the field. And then Kowloon to place the trap face up. And then Lulu, target the trap, send a spell, add a monster, and summon itself out to the field. So he searches for Lao Lao there. He turns the Nian Yan and the Lao Lao into Malong. So this is pretty cool addition to this deck. Oh my goodness. I have a spider. I have a spider somewhere. That was a full-on spider web. But Malong, he makes Malong. So you can increase or decrease the level of this card by one when it's summoned. And if it's sent to the graveyard, you target a face-up card your opponent controls returns to hand. So nice, just cool little utility card, plus one. Make it a level seven tuner. Um, so you can go for Floor. And then he's going to go GG effect, target the trap, send the spell or monster, and special summon itself. And then Nyan Yan, since a level three was special, to bring itself back as a tuner. So that is a now level three tuner. He turns GG and Malong into Floor. And then he goes Lao Lao effect target to dump either a spell trap and then summon itself and summon a virtual world monster from grave. So he's going to bring back the level three non-tuner. He turns those two into Stardust Charge, Stardust Charge effect to draw one. And Nian Yan gets banished per its own effect. Chainlink two will be Nian Yan to put back the Water Enchantress and draw into Lili. And then he goes the trap effect to modulate the level minus three. So it's now a level three tuner charge non-tuner make uh, make shen shen go end phase and then i say thinking in end phase and then i go magma here because i wasn't really playing through two omni negates anyway um so i was like all right let me just force one of these out maybe have a little bit better of a chance or actually i was to be honest i was hoping that he would let this go but looking back on it there's no way he lets it go um then he draw and then i draw evenly so i just scoop because i go evenly floor he floor negates, and then I have literally no other play because I got rid of my magma, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so going on into the next game, I open Chaos Space, Cartesia, Magma, White Dragon, and Seronir. So I feel like I could have ended on a better board. He has uh, Lulu, Water Enchantress, Nyan Yan, Adventure, and Draco back. So I go Chaos Space, discard Seronir first play, which I think is okay, right? And then we go Seronir effect to send... The Bestial Aluber here. Then we go Lubellion effect to search. Search for Magma. Just because I didn't want to reveal the information. I already had the Soranir. So it's just leave it. And then we special summon out White Dragon by banishing Seronir. Link into Striker Dragon. White Dragon effect to search. Search for Black Dragon. And then like if we had the whatchamacallit here. If we had the um, Branded and High Spirits here. Oh boy. This would have got ridiculously crazy. 
So we banish the white dragon, summon out black dragon, chaos space, put back white, draw one. We draw into E to it, which is not bad. And then we turn those two into seal. And then we go black dragon effect to search for the white again. And then we go blazing to summon itself out onto the field. And then we go magma effect to summon itself. Magma effect to search during end phase. Um, let's see. So here I go those two and for the grand Grail. so i was thinking about making synchro because i could have made a sync i could have made like this pattern and then tribute it off for lubelion place regain and then i could bring back this pattern and i have the seal but i decided to go for this instead because i drew the e to it so i could do like cool synchro plays on his turn so i was like all right let me just go for that try that so i sent titanoclad with that and then i just set e to it and pass so this way I can go Titanoclad during end phase, summon out Quem, Quem effect to dump. Here we dump Albaz, right? And then Blazing Cartesia, add back to hand. And then so the idea here, and then search uh, Druid Swarm during end phase. So the idea here is like, we want to go like seal, bounce something. Like say he normal summons, Nian, starts with like normal summon, Nian, Nian, whatever. We like seal, bounce, right? And then on resolution, we can seal, summon like a bestial um it could be magma it could be whatever and then we could like immediately e to it into a floor or a dispatter or whatever or a chaos angel whenever we wanted to um so we could like synchro summon into that and then we could grand goyle banish itself summon back quem and then if he like uses any virtual world card we can bring back albaz and then make something with his board um so he goes fateful here and then fateful effect to search i probably should have just bounced this right here um because this does just get him full engine full um adventure engine so he grabs the griffin rider there and then discards the trap and then he goes water enchanters effect to search search for right of air and then he goes right of air mazir and i was like okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bounce the token before he summons the griffin rider but he's gonna summon the griffin rider as chain link too because he controls no monster so that was a good play by him um so i basically cannot use the seal i go for grand goyle here banish itself to summon out guiding quem guiding quem effect to dump we're gonna dump blazing cartesia there because we already have a good other target and then he's gonna equip the draco back here and then draco back effect target my set which was tough so my whole synchro play is just out the window now so now all i have is like summon something with seal and then if he goes extra deck we can quem um, but we do have double bestial in hand and he's like we're up in cards now at this point like we have more cards that do things and you know get more advantage so i'm actually feeling pretty comfortable about this even though it's like my interruptions are limited uh so i do go seal here because this is an immediate floor and floor is kind of scary so you want to force something out um so he does negate with the griffin rider then we go seal effect to summon and then Seal is going to go ahead and summon Baldrake because I have an extra light slash dark that I contribute off if he goes extra deck. So he, first, he's going to go Quing Long effect to search. I got to stop shaking. It's going to make noise during the camera, during the playback. So he's going to search for Lao Lao, discard the trap, and then trap effect to up the level by three. So this is now a level six tuner and a level four non-tuner. So he's going to use those and make Fluor immediately. And I had to think here because it's a weird situation to where I could banish this, but I also want to quem. Um, and I can't just use one because if I just use one, he'll just floor, negate, destroy, and then pop the other, right? So I have to use both. I have to I have to commit both. I have to make both a threat. So I do quem one, target Albaz, Ball Drake two, target floor. So basically this means I'm just gonna summon Albaz for no, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna use the effect or anything because I can't make anything with this, which I wish I could have because I would have just won on the spot, but I'm still in a good spot. Uh, so he special summons Lao Lao, brings back the Lulu here. And then from here, he's going to turn those two into Stardust Charge. Stardust Charge effect is going to draw a card. I give him a thumbs up on that. He draws into Gigi, Gigi effect, target the monster, send a spell or trap, summon itself, add back during the end phase. So he's going to send Quing Long there, special summon out the Gigi, and then since it was summoned, he's going to bring back Nian Nian as a tuner. So he has tuners and non-tuners he can make synchro plays so he turns those two into shen shen goes battle phase okay uh, battle phase charge warrior can attack everything i don't know why he didn't attack the ball drake maybe he thought it was he probably yeah he didn't know it was zero okay that makes sense um 
So he's going to put back the temple with the Shen Shen. These, this, these, you know, the adventure engine synergizes pretty nicely with the virtual world stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. So he's going to turn Nian Yan and Charge Warrior into the power tool Braver Dragon. And this card says, if this card is special summon, you can equip up to three equip spells with different names from your deck and or graveyard to this card. During the main phase, quick effect, you can send one of your equip spells equipped to this card to the graveyard and then target one effect monster on the field. Either change its battle position or until the end of this turn, negate its effect. So it's not a bad card, bro. It's actually not a bad card. And like, cool. Uh, cool little nine for the virtual world players. And then he's going to go chain link two Nian Yan to put back the trap card and then end phase add back the lulu and this card's only in main phase the power tool so we go end phase magma banish magma effect of search and then it just gets like he sees that i'm just way up on cards and it's not going to go very well so going on into game three here i have bestial obelion mercurier evenly matched black dragon and albaz the opponent called by the grave Kowloon, Anti-Spell, Lulu, and the Trap card. So he goes Kowloon Effect, the two-card combo, Kowloon, Lulu. Kind of goes crazy. Um, so he's going to... I have to fast forward uh, or just play it. Um, so he's going to go Lulu, send the Quinglong, add the Gigi, and then Quinglong Effect, search for Lao Lao, discard Trap card. And then he's going to go Gigi effect, target this, send a spell, turn those two into charge, charge, draw a card, draws into the trap card. And then Lao Lao, target the trap card, send a monster, special summon itself, special summon Gigi. And then Nian Yan brings itself back to the field and then turns those two into Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon and Charge Warrior into Zulkin. Charge or Coral Dragon draw a card, draw E Telly. And then Zulk and then set a card, Zulkin effect, bring out Crystal Wing um then he goes trap card discard a card bring back the gg and then turn those two into shen shen set called by the grave and pass turn add back lulu and now it's my turn stand by face he flips anti-spell and luckily this time we talked about this after the game i was like luckily you did not end on an omni negate this time he says later like he could have went for beatrice with these two he could have went for beatrice instead of the zulkin to get to his adventure engine um to play around the evenly and then I go just go battle phase, end of battle phase. He changed his trap card to pop the Shen Shen because Shen Shen can reborn itself from grave. So it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's, it's you might as well type shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to go Bistial. Or I'm going to go Bistial Lubelion, search for Saronir. Special summon out white by banishing the Lubelion. Turn that into Striker Dragon. And then Black Dragon effect to search for white. And then I just need to force out this crystal wing. And then I could show you guys a cool little spicy tech card that we're playing. It's not really too spicy, but I mean, it's standard. It's getting more and more popular. Yo. So we go ahead and turn striker and white dragon into Azalea. Azalea effect. Target the crystal wing to pop it. He's going to chain to negate, destroy, gain attack. Then go normal summon Albaz. Discard the Mercurier. We make Mirror Jade, and that's GG. We go Soranir Effect, Banish the Mercurier. So, uh, Mercurier Effect to search. We're going to grab Blazing Cartesia here. So Blazing Cartesia Effect to Special Summon itself out onto the field. And then we turn those two into the Bestial Synchro here. And then we go Soranir Effect to dump the other Lubelion. And then we go Magma Effect, Banish the Blazing, Summon itself out. Magma Effect to search during end phase. Bistial Dispatter Effect, bring back the Tuner. And then we turn those two into a Floor. And then Tribute off the Dispatter for Lubelion. Lubelion Effect, place Branded Beast face up. So if he normal summons, we can bring back Dispatter. We have Floor, we have Mirror Jade, End Phase, Search Ball Drake Interruption. It's GG, she draws D Barrier. Then he goes Quinglong Effect to add GG, whatever. And then he brings back the Shen Shen. And then he uses gg and then i just banish the thing and then i have you know floor i have a whole bunch of extra stuff it is what it is but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i played this game earlier today and i thought you guys might want to see some more of this branded synchro deck so because i'm i'm low-key tired of seeing cash gameplay too i like seeing cool decks like you know virtual world i do like this deck it's not very good but it's something different so hopefully you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out peace